Good morning, everybody. I'd like to just do a very brief overview of our syllabus and talk about the actual schedule of our course in a little more detail. So before I get to the syllabus, I just wanted to reinforce that our course runs from Monday until Sunday night at 1159. So once again, some courses are structured so they run from Sunday to Saturday. This course is structured, all my courses actually are structured from uh, Monday through Sunday. So which what that means is that every Saturday I will post the material for the following week. And we'll see how things go. I might release a couple of um, weeks at, at a time, but to get us going, I'm going to just release one week at a time. So you could expect new materials to be toast, posted by the end of the day on Saturday. So with that said, let's take a look at the syllabus. So as you can see up on the screen, this is the syllabus. It's the same one that's, that's on Brightspace. Um, the contact information for me is up here if you if you'd like to talk about anything you please send me an email you can call me if you leave, if you do call me just leave me a message um, and i'd be happy to call you back our course runs from july 5th through august 19th now it's important to stay on top of the schedule if you possibly can this is a seven week course um, it is a somewhat well i think any seven week format courses has the potential to be a, a, a pretty intense class and this is no exception so this is asynchronous meaning that the materials is put online once a week or twice a week uh, sometimes more than that and you can access the materials anytime you don't have to show up at any given time um, to see the materials or participate we have a book, Jeff Beaudry's book. If you do not have this and you feel like you're going to fall behind, please let me know. I can I can uh, shoot a PDF version or at least the chapters for that week to you or put them online. We have other materials at times. Uh, there's materials on Brightspace. If I use anything additional, I will send those out to you. So technology, computer with high speed of access. So the course description, this is where I wanted to just talk about the course description, the learning out, um, outcomes. So really, this course is, as it says in here, it's about the study of the concepts, the principles, and the methods of educational research. So the, what we stress right from this, the get-go is that we're going to be taking a look at research, primary research that is and we study it through the lens of scientific methods and we'll, we'll get into this i'm not going to spend too much time on any of the def definitions at this point problem solving systematic review of education research literature the primary goal of this of the course is to strengthen the students critical thinking and reasoning skills so you can better understand educational research. Um, what I consider this course oftentimes, and I describe it as, it's a course where we read, we analyze, and then we discuss, meaning we write about. So, yes, we do take a look at statistics, but this is not a statistical course, and for those that are wanting more, more of the statistics behind, uh, we can do some of that offline, but there's also separate statistical classes that you can take. So the outcomes, learning outcomes, fundal under, uh, fundamental understanding of the scientific method of inquiry, understanding of nature and characteristics of educational research. So meaning, what is educational research and what is research? You can take a look at this. I'm not going to read each, each and every one of these. So, the structure and the format, these are assignments that we have. And once again, not going to spend a lot of time on these because there's descriptions. I will get information out to everybody as we move forward, but I'll take a quick, quick stab at this. The article capture, 
this is fundamental to the course and it culminates in you writing a 12 to 15 page paper where you actually you've selected six primary research articles and then you write about each one of these and we have a process that you go through um, one of the assignments in here is where you actually submit to me primary six primary research articles now what I mean by primary research is to say I am a researcher and I am a researcher I, I conduct my own research it's my research and then I write about it. That is primary research. If I am writing a paper about the learning styles of adult learners and I write about other people's research that they did, that would be considered secondary research. So the article capture is fundamental. It's, 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 um, some students seem to latch on to what primary research is and others take a little longer but we spend a lot of time on that the article capture the for the, the course is structured where we first take a look at qualitative research then we go to quantitative and then we do mixed methods single subject so right here this is one of the assignments critical analysis of the evaluation of one research article this is something that I post online. You don't have to find it. And then you write a 12-page assessment of the, the research. Then, so that's a qualitative. Then we have a quantitative. You take a look at the same thing. You take a look at a quantitative article that I supply, and then you write a paper on that. Not a big paper. Visual displays of data. This is where you look at a graph you look at a chart i give you resources that you can look at it could be cases of covid by county in the year 2022 and then you you post that and then you interpret it once again this is not a big assignment it's a couple paragraphs at most active participation what i'd like everybody to do is at least participate in four of the discussion forums that we have. We have a weekly discussion forum. Today or this week, in week number one, we have three discussion forums. Um, I'd like you to participate in those and that's worth 20 points as we move forward with the course. And then the final research paper which ties in with you take these six articles and you write about them in the final paper, 12 to 15 pages. Um, the assessments, you can actually see when they are due, the points that are assigned to them. And when I say credit in here, all that means is that it's not, you don't get points for that. It's just, it's, I mark it off that you, you have submitted that to me. The draft matrix is, is like you take your, it's, it's really a table. You take your six articles, you plug them into a table and then you can see all of them in a very concise form we have the course schedule there's uh, you know more information on brightspace on this but if for those that are looking ahead they want to get ahead on, on the information you can do just that you can say okay i'm going away next week what what do i need to read these this is what you need to read if if something does come up and you're interested in what what are the discussion questions going to be in week number three because i'm going to be away um, or i need the materials please let me know i can help you with that so the course evaluation and then there's all kinds of information in here as far as um, withdrawing from the course take a look at if, if you're finding this just too much with everything you have on the on your plate contact me or you can drop the course take a look at the schedule contact the registrar's office and the academic calendar um, you can find the academic calendar on the USM website just Google University of Southern Maine academic calendar and it'll tell you when the last day that you can cancel or you you can withdraw from this class classes plagiarism please I've had some issues over my teaching career where 
there have been students that have plagiarized and um, it's it's not a pleasant experience dealing with, with that for everybody. I would like to hear your opinion, your analysis of this rather than from somebody else. Moving right along, we have a help desk. This is an excellent resource for those that are having any kind of issues, software, hardware problems. I use the help desk. The faculty uses the help desk all the time. They're responsive. You can call them. They'll give you a number and they'll keep on working on it. Computer access and some other considerations in here. If you need any accommodations, please let me know. I'm, I'm more than willing to work with everybody. We have tutoring, learning commons, counseling, and there's some more information in here. So that's it. That's uh, about a 10 minute summary on the syllabus. Once again, this is a reading, analyzing, and then writing course. So if you have any questions on the syllabus, please let me know. And I will see everybody online tomorrow morning or tomorrow at some point. You don't have to show up at any time. I won't be online at any given time. I'm online almost every day with these seven-week courses. So I wish you the best of success. If you have any questions on the syllabus, please let me know. I'm here to help. Thanks, everybody.